Can I thank the Metropolitan Transport Forum for uh, hosting this evening and can I thank everyone for coming along for Grassroots Democracy in Action and can I thank my um, colleagues uh, at the forthcoming election for their contribution as well. Um, and despite our many and collective worthy qualities as individuals, the 24th of November is about who you are going to vote for as a government. Yes, through local representatives, but who is going to deliver the kind of public transport and wider transport uh, programs, planning and delivery that is going to deal with the multitude of issues that have been dealt with tonight. Uh, it is my submission to you that um, uh, Oggy and the Greens, as worthy and as Andrew and the Liberals, as perhaps less worthy than they are, <laughs> uh, when it comes to um, the opportunities that they uh, have had, as opposed to the last four years of a track record of delivering projects, of making sure that public transport and other project infrastructure is organised, funded, <coughs> planned, and delivered, that the Andrews Labor government has at an unprecedented level uh, delivered on uh, its commitments around what we say we're going to do, what we do when it comes to those public transport projects and the commitments that we've made so far in this campaign and the further ones that we'll make over the next 72 days, they will be the choices that you as voters and the people of Victoria will have to make a judgment call on. This is a government that delivers on, on its projects, delivers on its promises, gets things done and that will certainly be the case with all of our public transport and transport commitments uh, should we be given the unbridled privilege of being a government in the next uh, four years from 2018 to 2022 because it's through government and the civilising effect that government can deliver for communities like ours, towns like ours and state like ours that makes the prospect of government exciting and to meet the demands of our growing and booming economy and our growing and booming population, transport infrastructure and transport delivery has to be at its heart and I would submit that the past four years and indeed the past eight years demonstrate that it's a choice between ultimately the Liberal Party and the Labor Party and that it is only a choice for Labor to deliver that prospect of a better transport future for all Victorians. Thank you very much.